to Blind Owl Outdoors and today it's another episode of Cooking with Marfi. And, and today Marfi gets a lesson <laughs> on cooking a traditional American dish with a couple little flares that I've never heard of before but uh, they're good. Oh. So we'll be back in a second. Okay first gonna Slice some potatoes up. Yes, I'm going to put this in your fancy slicer. Thank you. Then for this one, I will wash the lens first. How's that tank working out for you? Very good, Dad. I always I keep an eye on that tank. Very nice having water in your kitchen. Huh? It's not fancy, but it's yeah, it's sure gets the job done. Okay, yeah. you need some sort of a I'll be something to yeah, something this to shave one. into. There you go. I will first. Yeah, that's not really a good one. Oh, this one. Need some. Well, all right, that's all right. Whatever you do, whatever, use whatever you want. Should be something that the slicer goes across, but that's okay. Like rice done. Oh. You just unplugged it. Okay, and we're making a. Get that big black spot off the potato. We're making a lunch today. Uh, I'm on medication, so I have to eat something at lunchtime, which I I didn't eat lunch for 14 years here. Yes. Also, I'm eating lunch. Which I'm just not used to it yet. But okay, where's your top part? Right there. You slice your hand right off. You don't use all the right parts here, huh? Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pretty wild, huh? I mean, this one. Oh, no. Okay, all yeah, right, climb up then. Much easier, I think. It's like somewhere. Right here. Here. Always the last place you look. <laughs> Had that buried pretty good. Glad I wasn't doing it. Oh, why? I would have yelled. <laughs> I've been throwing stuff around if you were here. Just not together where it belongs. Yeah. Place for everything, everything in its place. Mm. <laughs> good, good luck in this country. Gotta pull that. So that would do. No, put it tall. I'll tall. Put it so the potatoes tall. There you go. Those that won't do anything. It's got to fit inside there. There you go. And like this. Okay, stop. Okay. Uh. This has to be exactly like that. So oh. it runs on the rails, otherwise you'll cut the plastic off of it. Okay. Like this? Is that what I just showed you? Uh. No, I don't believe that's what I showed you. I showed you it goes exactly like that. Not like that, not like this, like this. So the plastic rides on the, okay. the cutter. Like this. Now push down the black thing as you go. You do it all at the same time as you're slicing. Oh. Do it. No, you, that's not how you do it, hon. But you, you do it all at the same time as you're slicing the potato. I can. Well, you can do it because I'm going to show you how to do it. There, you just hit the plastic mm. on the blade. Okay, let me let me show you one more time here, without a potato on it. Look, Look. see how it fits on the rail right there? Mm. The little thing that slides this thing right here and this thing right here. See? Oh. That goes out there, so it slides like that across the thing. Mm -hmm. Then that can't hit the blade, and your fingers go like that, so your fingers can't hit the blade. Oh, see. Now we're going to get everybody bitching at me because I'm telling you how to do shit, but... I know you only seen me do it about 20 times, so... I know. Paying attention. Yeah, we're sadly aware of that, too. Okay, stop. Turn the potato the other way so it fits inside the thing. 
pick it up, take the potato out, turn the potato like sideways. Like that? No. Like this. This way, go like that. No, you didn't. You had it like this, crossways. Have it like this, so that, see the shape? See the shape of this right here? You want it to fit inside there. You do it, not me. <laughs> you're, you're the one getting the lesson here. So get used to it. There you go. There you go. Keep your, keep your hand inside that plastic. That thing's merciless, merciless. It'll slice your finger right off. Push down and it just slice. Just like that, see? You know, you're left with a little piece. Throw that piece on the potatoes too? Or no? I don't care who it is. They can have a lesson too if they want. <laughs> That's a rotten potato, huh? No, it's not rotten. It sure looks rotten to me. There's something inside. Well, that would would qualify as being rotten. Oh. Uh, I'd, I'd rather have a different one. <laughs> I don't want potatoes. I don't want potatoes with things inside it, huh? Hi, it's well, rotten. We'll, we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back, and now we got guests in the kitchen. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Marfie's gonna cook me fried potatoes, a piece of hamburger, and some fried green beans. That's the goal today. Okay, you got your potato in crossways again, but whatever, keep going. <laughs> See, that's why it fell out, because you didn't get it all the way in there. Fun. Huh. Huh. <laughs> this is the part I just, I just don't get here. Now, see the shape of this. Uh. Okay, now. What what way would it fit better in? Crossways like this or long ways like that? Like that. Like that. That's the fifth time I've told you no. That's my. That's this is how I you had it though. Use that. And not like that. Oh. Like this. Like this. Oh, like that. <laughs> Might as well slice this one up too. I guess I. I you need the practice. We've got all the lights on, and so it's nice and bright. Yeah. Um. Like that. Got a nice big storm rolling in. I hope it rains. We've been real limited on rain here lately. It's been like over a week now. See, that way you don't cut your hand on it. It just squashes it right down. Mm -hmm. You're lacking like one, one good more push on it that you can push one more time and that piece, extra piece would be smaller. But uh, no, it could be thinner. It's all right, though. Right in the center, huh? There you go. In the center and deep. That way it holds tight. Wow. It has a whole bunch of different blades. It'll cut straight fries. It'll cut uh, little narrow pieces. Does all kinds of things. It has all those different different blades. For potatoes, for carrots, whatever you're cooking. See, they're all the same. Okay. Next, I guess, you need a little bit of... Yeah, that's, again, that's I say. You could, you could get three or four more slices off it. I don't want that one, though. And... No. Ready. Okay, turn it on. Put some oil in it. Turn it down. Oh, that's oh. down. That's wide open, huh? That's as hot as it gets. Oh, About there. There you go for now. Sweet. Some more, a little bit of oil. Um, Pay attention. Next time you're on your own. Oh yes, it's not you, dry. And, 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 you, and it's not dry. And yet. you know I demand perfection with my dinner, so. No, it's that's the, <laughs> your. Uh, right, put the oil in there. I don't need the comments here. Small? How many drops? A little bit of oil. Oh, uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Just enough. A little bit more than that, though. A little more. A little more than that, huh? Um, a little more than that. Enough to cover the pan. Non-stick. That's enough. Yeah, this is the non-stick is just about gone on this pan. If you can see, you already scraped it all off, China. and that's that's been in our food, all that scrapings. I've been using the soft. Uh huh. 
Ladle, whatever a ladle is. I just using a potato to smear the oil around a little bit. And next is okay, and start loading them in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You saw me do. It? You saw me do it last time. Oh, I just quite. It's necessary. To because that way they cook even. Oh, you know. Okay. And then they'll get the crust on the bottom, and they'll all be together like I showed you. And then it's easy for us to flip them over. I'll flip them over for you and show you. But if they're stuck together, then they don't really cook very good. No, don't put them up in here. Put them all flat. Put them all across everybody, but it's kind of stagger them. Overlap them. Oh. I don't know what your word is for that. Overlap. We have Overlap, ba. Oh, kanang. Yeah, kanang. Even all the way across the whole thing, huh? Oh, I try. Try. I'm, I'm watching yeah. you. Just We're critiquing you here. <laughs> yeah. Doing Good thing her friend showed up. Marfie's about frustrated with me already. She's about ready to throw the pan in the ground a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Wanted me to right. slice potatoes. Yeah, yeah, just you have you can take absolutely no criticism whatsoever. That's the problem with Filipinos. They're, they're, the the thirty eight year old Filipino woman is about is about as uh, has the same temperament as a four year old girl. That's got a thorn in her foot. But I have so, no patience. Oh yeah, your patience is long. Yeah. <laughs> long as an inchworm. What's an inchworm, huh? I don't know. Need some more over here on this side a little bit. Oh, I like yeah. that. Keep them going. It's Actually, thick. you got too many in for that pan. It's thick now. Okay. Why don't you wash this pan off and let's let's put this transfer pans. That's too. It's too thick. It's too so thick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this. Just throw them in there for now, yeah. Try her again, huh? Oh. Give that pan a quick rinse, I guess. And this one is heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy one. That's a good. Actually, that's a pretty good pan. I got that in the Chinese store for I think like 250 pesos is all. It was a pretty good deal. It's actually a solid pan compared to the other junky ones I got. So what are you guys doing? Right here. What are you up today? Uh, this I don't believe you. <laughs> Yeah, I know where you're at today. Did you get hooked up? We have a requirement. There's a more requirement going to the municipality. I'm going to the man of uh, authorized to. Is that it? That day. The electrician. Yeah, electrician. Yeah. And he gave us um. Yeah, he has to hook up the wires and stuff. Yeah, I know. I, I got that. Okay. Try to get all the water out of it. There you go. Turn it back on. Put her nice and centered on there. There you go. Point your handles in. Very good. That's another. It's another weak part here. I come in and the pan, the handle will be all sticking straight out. I will. I would put some oil in it first. It'd be great. I have oil already. I'd put some oil in the pan that you're putting the, the potatoes in. Would be fantastic. Uh. Oh, what a controlling bastard I must be, huh? Holy cow! You're a good. Yeah, okay, I guess plenty, huh? You're a good teacher. Yeah. Anyway, spread this around. You got water in there. They ask you to get out. But I'm right. sure you wanted me to get some bladder. That was probably part of your goal, right? No, I don't know. Just take a nugget. Turn the fire down. No, you know, you did that on purpose. I know. I understand. You got to get back some way you can. I guess I understand. Oh, you don't think it hurt? I just don't show pain. Wow. That's why I walk around with a kidney stone. I'm doing all my regular work, huh? I'm still, I'm still out there working in the garden every day and carrying up. What did I, what did I carry today? Potatoes and chicken feet up the hill. Yes. You know, it, it hurts, but what am I supposed to do? I still got to get the work done because there's no one else to do it. I can do it. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, put them in there real nice and gentle, so they're nice and even and not, so they're overlapping, mm. not stuck to each other. Uh, 
Oh. This is called American American fries. Ah, uh, American fries. Yeah, yeah French fries. Yeah, that's from France. No, it's American food too. Is this what they call them? Oh. Uh. For some reason. There's all kinds of potatoes in America. Oh. All gratin potatoes have cheese on them. Oh. Uh, Maybe say potato chips. Baked like. potatoes. Potato, they're kind of like potato chips, but thicker. Now, now the, you have the you have the other slicer here that's much thinner. They'll cut them half that thick, oh. and that'll make very nice fr uh, French or potato chips. chips. And you can cook those in oil, mm. or we can we can bake them in the microwave. Oh. Okay, we're looking a little weak over here on this side. Oh, and that's finished. No, I'm just telling you, just just advising, I huh? More yeah, I see that. In, uh, I see that. Okay. Okay. I got you. More on the other side over there. You go. And then we get them going. Remember the other day when I was cooking, I, I flipped them all over. Oh, I remember that. I was talking to them, not oh. you, but. Not me. They were here the other day. She was here the other day when I cooked them the one day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like a comedy actor, I'm telling you. <laughs> Abbott, Abbott, Abbott and Costello in the Philippines. No, I know you are. That's, that's the saddest part about it. Is it's, it's hilarious. Okay. Okay, now get a lid clean that'll fit on there. I have clean here. Okay, rinse it off first, be great. Oh, uh, okay. Because there's probably spiders in it and stuff. Okay. Joe, would you run over in there on my table mm -hmm. in the hut and get the salt and pepper, please? Okay. Thank you. Nash, you don't go away. I will get it, Nash. Give me a break, huh? <laughs> I think they can handle, I think she can handle walking eight feet and picking up a salt and pepper. How she did it, what's look like? Uh, salt is white and pepper is black. Oh, and, and the, the container. Salt is a glass container, pepper is a metal container. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> okay. And then. No, no, what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, no, this is no good. It said cover. Yeah, but I need a lid that goes across the top there that doesn't sit on the potatoes. What, what lid is that? I have this lid. Try the, try the big one. That'd be the one we need. Didn't know where. Well, it needs to seal. It needs to seal up, not beyond the. This one, big one. Okay, hun, that's the one. If it goes over the pan, that's the perfect one. It's a salt now only done. The pepper is a little metal container, little square metal container. It's right next to the salt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't find the pepper on a, <laughs> on, a on an empty table. Oh well. <laughs> Looks just like this, Joe. Oh. Do you see it? Oh. Looks just like this. Oh. Oh. It's a metal can. <laughs> oh, I can't take it. This one. This yeah. one of them fits. One of them fits because I used the pan before. That'll work, but that's not what we want, though. We want it, we want it so it seals. I guess that seals okay. Okay, now let's look at the fire ones. Let's look at the fire ones. This is where we made the mistake last time, remember? Oh, well, let's try that. That's pretty hot, though. Okay, let's put some salt and pepper on them. Not a, not a lot of pepper. Just enough so it covers it a little bit, because we're just gonna we're gonna flip the whole thing over after a while. A little salt. Something like that. There you go. And the other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a can of green beans. So you can go get a can of green beans and take a break, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. Joe's doing the dishes. Nisa's eating chocolate. We're eating some more of the some more of the seas chocolate from our good friend Grace. And I'll tell you what, Grace, they sure have enjoyed your box. Uh, and there's, and there's, there's there's still chocolate and stuff and mints in the refrigerator. Every time someone comes over, Murphy's always sharing with someone. We gave the potatoes a quick flip. 
And the very center is a little burn, but that's perfect. Uh, not much we can do about that. That's, I think it's just because of the burner's just dead center on the, the pan. And uh, we'll, go, we'll go for that. That's, I'm, I'm happy with that. So what I'd like to do is put one more little handful of water in there to uh, help steam it. Mm -hmm. And then you can go get the hamburger right now if you want. Oh, okay. you got one little piece of hamburger left over. Ground beef, they call it here. Ask for hamburger, they don't know what you're talking about. Today we're talking, we're in the vegetable market. And I'm, today I'm sweating like double or triple what I've been sweating lately. I don't know why. Just I was absolutely just... Water was just pouring off my arms and hands in town today. And the vegetable lady said, why are you sweating so much? I said, because your country's an oven. And she looked at me, I said, oven, oven. Marfie came over and said, oven. Oh, and then everybody laughed. <laughs> because they don't understand the word oven. It's oven here. What's that? I was talking about oven and oven. I would call it oven. Yeah, that's what I just said. That's what I just said. Oh, that, that's wrong? <laughs> yeah, of course that's wrong. The word is oven. Hi? Oven. Oven. But that's, that's oven. neither here nor there because... You said oven. Yeah, no, oven. Okay. Yeah, kind of like chisel. Chisel. Uh, can, I, can I have a... Do you have a wood chisel? I spent an hour in a, in a hardware store over that until I finally saw one buried someplace. And so this is what I'm looking for, a chisel. Oh, that's a chisel. Oh, <laughs> oh take the lid off, please. Put a little bit of water in there. I just do that to give a little extra steam. Cover? Yeah, cover, for sure. Okay. I think we have a Turn the, rain cover. Well, I don't think so. Turn the burner on. Like that. Yeah, whatever you cook it at, you've been I the burger like cooker. This. Well, that's why it's burned every night, then I guess, huh? Like that. Well, it was it was black like a shoe last night, so. Oh, that's, <laughs> not, that's not black. <laughs> okay. I just, I oh, that's because. Of was it night before last? Oh. Night before last, it was black like a shoe. I'm sorry. Excuse that me. That one, I will. Yeah, la actually, last night was pretty good. Last night we tried to cook dinner, and just as we started cooking. Yeah, it needs to be covered too. Just as we started cooking last night, the power went off for four hours, but it was just enough that the rice was almost done in the cooker. That's every time that we have power. And it goes off right at six o'clock. And don't yeah, don't don't touch that with your arm, hon. That thing is hot. Um, but we we beat the system last night because we had all those uh, studio lights that John sent us. And uh, oh yeah, they had we had one in the kitchen and one in the uh, the hut, and it was fantastic. We had plenty of light, and when the power came back on around 10 o'clock, it was great. Mm. So, let's see. <laughs> the, other thing, the other thing we got is we're going to cook a, we're going to fry some, fry, fry some green beans in the hamburger pan. Give them a little flavor. That, that's Ricky's, that's Ricky's recipe. And we're back. <laughs> the girls are still eating chocolate. Yeah. See that burger? You flip it over yet? Not yet. It's not it's still red. Right. I like this shirt. Okay, this needs to be turned up just a little bit. This is too low now. Just a touch maybe. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Alright. Put the lid back on it. That's too low. I'm gonna keep everything timed right here. Okay, open the can of beans if you want to. I'm good then. Okay. Now get a, a take that off. Get a spoon or a fork or something, and scoop out the beans, but not the juice. In fact, we're, I guess I got enough time. I can cook. I can eat the whole can. Just drain the drain the juice out. I guess I was gonna save half for later, but no, 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 no. Just, just your hand right over the top of it. Just dump it out in your hand, just like that. Well, that's, that's how you do it, like that. That's your secret, right there. That's your that's your tip. Your afternoon tip. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna throw those dry beans in the in the hamburger pan. And uh, 
Okay. Roll them around until they're hot. Okay, I think the potatoes are looking good. Um, It's always interesting doing stuff with your wife. Yeah, they're getting a little brown on the other side too. Not much we can do about that, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're soft inside. They're done, I guess. But to turn it up, we'll turn it down. There we go. Hamburger. That's doing good. Another three or four minutes in the burger. And there, and we got some beans. That was me. I stepped on his foot. We're about, uh, Fascinating. Oh yeah, we're, we're on yeah. we're on the edge of our chairs listening to you. You're talking about the I was going to say you're talking about the electric qualifications, but I because I can understand what you're saying now. I've been here long enough. Murphy's pretty busy gabbing, so I better take over here. I guess I broke over, broke the pieces of burger in half mm -hmm. in thirds. And let them cook a little longer here. The potatoes are done. Uh, get it up just a little bit higher. It's raining out now. Can't wait for it to soak in the garden. I sprinkled a little fertilizer on the garden yesterday. I don't like using chemicals, but I made an exception because our ground is absolutely terrible. It is just pure clay. So... Get lucky me to put the spur of the corn on, huh? What are you smiling at? Huh? Turn around and look at you. You're smirking at me and smiling. I, I know. I know. I know. Hey, see, you're talking. I think you're talking behind my back. That's what you're doing, aren't you? Yeah. Little, little, little joke. Little joke. But look at her. She She can't keep a straight face. That caught her too. See? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Gave the potatoes another flip. They're looking good. Not near as burned as they look. They're all nice and soft, so they're ready to go. Rice is perfect like usual. Um, I threw a can of beans in here. I'm just going to let them sit in there for now. And then as soon as the burger's done, I'll, I'll what do you recall, I'll flip them around in the pan. And, uh, you know, like chef style, whatever you call that. It's probably got a special name for it. And just kind of heat them up. Just give them a uh, head start here. All right, I'm going to quick take out the piece of the hamburger. They're not quite done yet. I want to put them in for another two minutes, but I want to work on the beans just a little bit. Not really fancy there. Probably a better way to do that, I guess. There we go, they're getting all covered with grease nice. Okay, this is pretty much done. Oh, it's just terrible, huh? Uh, looks good, Dad. Okay, it's a pretty good looking meal. Yeah. Okay. Another plate? Okay, you're filming over there again. Okay. One more plate. You hold the camera, I will the plate. <laughs> Okay, got you covered. What a meal, huh? Check that out. I don't normally eat a big meal like this for lunch, but I was trying to give Marky a lesson. It kind of all backfired like usual. But uh, 
I won't eat supper tonight, probably. Yeah. Hey, here's, here's what I'm working on here. Are you, are you even looking at that? Right here, the shirt, and the dog is very mysterious. Right there's a meal fit for a king. It's enough for two people probably, but uh, I'm going to eat it all myself. I got a loaf of bread out in the, the hut, and uh, I'm going to take my medicine with it. No, I, I can't get any luckier than that. Thanks, son. Appreciate your try anyway. We'll get another another lesson next time. That's Maybe a one. Another lesson when you're a little less combative, but... Uh, so thank, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Thanks, everybody, for going to our Patreon site and pledging money to us. We really appreciate it. Uh, we need all the help we can get right now. We've got a bunch of medical expenses coming and, and continuing. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye. God bless everyone. <laughs> all right. See you later. There's a nice big one there. It's got some big pinchers on him. The size of those claws, huh? This one's pretty big too. But some of these little ones are just teeny. That one only has one pincher.